Hey everybody, welcome back. Hey, for the most of you that have been watching this channel and know me, <laughs> you get to know me, I guess, uh, you know that I like a good capture card and or a good DVR. Hey, well in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a standalone DVR type box that does not need the normal dependence on a PC, a Mac or anything alike. That's right, it is a standalone 4K DVR setup that may just be the ticket to what you're looking for. You know, for taking your set-top boxes and fire sticks to the next level, not to mention uh, all the gamers out there. Okay, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Cloner Alliance for sending me their newest UHD Pro DVR. And as always, with the understanding that I can and will say anything I want about this item without prior approval to post this review. Okay, this standalone 4K UHD digital video recorder is a true Ultra HD recording at cinematic frames per second. Now the 3840 by 2160 at 24 frames per second up to the 4K at 30. Now it captures 4K UHD videos or gameplay from DVRs, the OTAs, the STBs, the <laughs> TV sticks, disc players, camcorders, DSLRs, uh, the game consoles. Well, pretty much anything that has the HDMI output. And it puts it into a USB flash drive. Uh, or an external hard drive, of course. And it's all PC free. Like I said, it is a standalone box. And kind of an attractive box too. But we'll get into that here in just a sec. Now it has both the H.264 and the H.265 codecs. Now they're both supported. Now you can switch the codecs anytime as you need with one press. For some of you out there that may not know what an H.264 and the H.265 codec is. Well the H.264 codec provides a higher image quality and requires more storage capacity than the H.265. Now the H.265 codec can compress the videos. This is a new codec now. It can compress the videos twice as much as the H.264 can. And it's a similar viewing experience. So it saves more capacity and reduces more cost of buying bigger drives and so forth. Now the viewing difference is extremely small. I mean, really, you can't tell the difference on it. So I go usually go with the 265 myself. All right, all right, let's not go ahead and get ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and take a look at what you get in the box and we'll go from there. It comes with the Cloner Alliance UHD Pro. Uh, it comes with a power cable. It has a remote control. It has the HDMI cable, a support page, and finally, a quick start guide. Now, batteries are not included. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no batteries for the remote on this one. Now the UHD Pro is a top of the line recording device that is designed to deliver high quality recordings in a compact and portable size. Now I think it has a sleek and stylish design. The UHD Pro is a device that should be a good addition to both amateur and professional videographers alike. Now the UHD Pro has a size that is similar to a mini console. Now making it an extremely compact device that is easy to carry around. Now one of the standout features of the UHD Pro is its versatile connectivity options. Now the device comes equipped with an HDMI input and output port, a power port, a power switch. Additionally, there are USB type A. It also comes with a mini USB port that lets you connect to your PC. Now with these connectivity options, you can easily record all your media quick and easy, just like a DVR should. On the front of the device, there are an assortment of 3.5 millimeter jacks and buttons, an IR port for the included remote, a light pipe that runs around the perimeter of the device and functions as a status indicator for recording formats. Now the top UHD Pro bears a Cloner Alliance branding and the status LEDs are embedded in the center of the logo. And likewise, it functions as a status indicator, which these features, you can easily control the device and monitor its performance. Okay, let's go and get this thing hooked up and see what it does and how well it does. Now this UHD Pro does feel solid. It's uh, constructed uh, well, it seems to not twist, it doesn't crack. Have, you know, it doesn't have that rubbing noise if you try to twist it. Uh, it, you know, it just feels good and solid. 
which gives you little concern about it breaking during travel or use. Okay, let's go and take a look at what it can do and how it can do it. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and show you what it is like on a uh, few of the TV boxes and, you know, the Fire Stick, the Elite Pro, the... Uh, I'm going to do a game console and show you how the gaming works. Stay with me on this and you're going to you're going to see exactly how fast this thing is. So let's go ahead and get this dude up and running and we'll go ahead and see what we got. Now, by the way, I paused it right on this. So you, this is the screen you get when you're it's checking and hooking up. We're going to go ahead and fire it off on the uh, Fire Stick 4K and see what happens with it here. Now, what you can do is go ahead and you want to go in on the remote and click on the menu button. That's going to bring up this little square here that it's going to, you can set all your features in here, like record settings to H265 or 264, bit rate on high, etc., etc. Click on the back button, it'll take you back out. Now you can also go to the scheduled settings. So this is where you got three areas or three times that you can actually have it programmed to schedule uh, the DVR to come on and record things and so forth. Now go to system settings, which is going to be language, uh, setup time, uh, playback loop, uh, any reset. And then video. Now this is the actual area where you're going to have your recorded playback items. So you just click on one and it's going to come up. But let's go ahead and we're going to Let's go ahead and get out of this and we're going to go ahead and go over and hit the display button, which is going to give you this box on the left. It's going to tell you everything about that, what's coming in, what's going out. Next, let's go ahead and click on the record button. Now you're going to see that record up there right now. It will go away as it records. It does not, your recording does not see any of this. But yeah, this is... Uh, it's not hesitating, guys. Uh, it really is as fast as you want to push it, and it's not lagging whatsoever. So it has a really low latency. Great for gamers. We'll go into the apps here, and we'll go ahead and take a look at Pluto. Now, as we're recording this, it's like I said, we're just going to record something so you can see it and see how that works. My internet's kind of sucking at the moment, but here we go. Uh, great show, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, anyways, uh, this here is just gonna go through. We're gonna show you how it works, and you know, and so forth. So, okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna cancel or we're gonna stop it now, hitting that button. Now we're gonna go to the video button, and we're gonna go ahead and pick that video that we just made, and here you go. See, I mean, it records beautifully. Um, I really kind of like this. I, I think it's... Um, like I said, this here, you can pause, you can fast forward and back and forth, all that stuff. Now, remember, we're going to go ahead and take a look at, as you're watching this, so you can see it. It, it recorded absolutely everything we just went through. So whatever you have on that screen is going to record other than what the actual Cloner Alliance programming is. <laughs> All right, let's go and look at uh, some racing video. Now, I had already recorded this, but... And this is exactly how it looks without going through the, the capture card. Brutal, brutal. I'm going to commit suicide here. <laughs> yeah, it works well. Uh, so let's go ahead and a little... Uh, Let's take a look at it on the super box. Now, this is a recording of it. We're just going through it and it records absolutely everything very well. Okay, next here we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Nvidia Shield. 
This is what kind of worried me. It came out with this green tint. I uh, hope somebody out there can maybe put in comments why it is doing this. I have not had a capture card do this before. And it was only on the NVIDIA Shield. I went through about 10 boxes and it only did it there. I have left a message for them at the time of this video. But I just want to see maybe somebody else out there knows about it. Okay, let's go ahead and go over the pros and cons on this. The pros are, it's a standalone box. It's no need for the PC hookup or anything like that. Works well. The ease of setup and use of this. The software is great. The setup is just plug and play. Now the low latency, this is gonna be great for anybody, but for gamers mostly, because I mean, this thing is fast. High end performance goes with the low latency. It is. It does have a lot of performance to it, um, you know, and quality and looks. I do like it because it does blend in. It does have the kind of <laughs> cool look to it. Okay, let's go ahead and go over the cons, though. I think it should have been powered up with the USB-C cord instead of the barrel. Uh, it's, it's, you know, you can put it on a PowerPoint and it, it'll work a lot better with the USB-C. Now, the USB-C to PC instead of the micro. I, they should have done that, made that all one. But uh, the NVIDIA <laughs> green tint, nobody likes that. Um, but I'm sure it's something minor, and it, it's probably on my side because others haven't had that. And I would like to see internal storage on this instead of you plugging in your uh, hard drive or a uh, thumb drive or what have you. And the price could be lower. Hey guys, let me know in comments what you think about the box and if anybody has that same problem with the NVIDIA Shield, I haven't been able to come across anybody yet. And do me a favor, if you would, give me a like on this bad boy. I need the algorithm to pick it up. And if you're not subscribed, now would be a good time to subscribe. Uh, like I said, it, our subscribers are 29% or actually 29.5% better looking than the non-subscribers. So remember... <laughs> hit that subscriber and hit that bell notification hey until the next time guys i'll see ya thanks for being here